gentlemen boys and girls cockroaches and bugs ants and insects welcome to our pbl enrichment club i hope all of you are doing well if you're watching this video you probably do not um have me in front of you this is called asynchronous work for those of you familiar with the distant learning platform this video is going to be a little tutorial on how to use either google slides or prezi for your assignment that will be due at the end of our winter break. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get started with uh, your Google slide or with Prezi. You are more than welcome to use any platform that you would like to present your all about you presentation. So let's go ahead and get it started. So you will find all of this information on your Google Classroom. So if you go over to Google Classroom, you will find um, that you will have a link to the questionnaire. Now, these are just some of the questions that you um, can answer on your All About Me slide, but it is up to you. You guys uh, saw one very similar um, when I created mine. You guys don't have to follow these questions, but if, let's say, you get stuck, use the questions that are on here. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with the very first method. The first one that I would uh, recommend that you use is Carnival Slides. The link is over in the Google Classroom. Now, cool thing about Carnival Slides is it has just all kinds of templates. If you look at the toolbar up at the very top, you will see that they range from color. You can, let's say if you have a favorite color that you want us to know about, formal is something that is more elegant and very proper, inspirational, creative, simple, Take a look at all of these. Now, for time's sake, we're going to go with inspirational. Uh, let's say, for example, you go scroll through these here and you are an outdoorsy types person. So you're going to go with the Salisbury. Okay. If this is the one that you like, you're going to go to the preview and download. You're going to hit use Google Slides theme. If for whatever reason I am going too fast for you, ladies and gentlemen, remember you are watching a video, you can rewind me and I'll go dip, 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 and it'll go right back, okay? So I recommend that you go down to the arrows down at the bottom so you can see what each of these slides look like. Um, don't worry about the text inside, I will show you how you can change that. However, just kind of go through them. If you hit this down arrow, you'll see how many slides it has. This one has a total of 29. Um, you can delete them. You don't have to use all of them. Let's say if you decide that you want to use it. The top right, you're going to find that it says use template. When you hit that, it is going to start generating a copy that you will be able to use, which is right here. What I'm going to ask you to do now is to organize this in your PBL file. To do so, you are going to, first of all, click, double click, where you are going to input your title. Mine is all about, I think that's not how you spell about, Mr. Contreras. I'm going to find out that you're a terrible speller if you do that. All right, pretend you guys didn't hear that. All about me, Mr. C. Yeah, I'm going to make it Mr. USC because I'm always representing. So you're going to first give it a name. 
Then here where you see a folder with an arrow pointing to the right, you're gonna hit move. And you're gonna see that your drive is gonna pop up. Now my drive has a lot more files than yours does. All you're gonna do is just find the one that says uh, PBL. Mine is pretty far down. <laughs> find the one that uh, says PBL. Once you get there, you're gonna hit the move here button. Now, let me show you uh, some pretty cool stuff. Now, let's say you get to the very bottom slide and you do not want to use this slide. I recommend that you do this at the very end, but I will show you now. You go up to the top where it says slide, delete slide. You don't want this slide that is right here. You know that it's gonna delete the slide if it is highlighted in yellow. Slide, delete the slide. Okay, let's say there's one particular slide that you really are fond of or that you really like. Let's say, for example, when you look at this slide, it just reminds you of something you like. You go back to slide. Again, make sure that it's highlighted in yellow. Duplicate slide. Okay, um, you guys should be pretty familiar with working with Google Slides, so I won't spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, one of the uh, cool things is if you decide to create your own Google slide, you are more than welcome to create your own Google slide. You don't have to use Slides Carnival, just they have tons of cool stuff there. Um, one of the things that I will show you is if you do decide to use your own slide, um, make sure that for your theme, you, um, first of all, make sure your computer is a little faster than my computer because it's just a little bit slow here. I'm sorry, background. You're gonna go to background, make sure that you choose a background that you'll be able to choose for all of them. Gradient is always an awesome choice. You can use this here. All right, so one of the things that I uh, wanted to show you, I am going to make a new slide. I'm just gonna show you guys how to either insert pictures. Nope, let me go back to background. If that happens, when I choose background, see that? We are going to add it to the theme. Okay, make sure that you add it to uh, the theme and you should, let me double check here. Yeah, so there you go. So every slide that you create now should have the same color. You don't, if you don't add it to the theme, then you'll just have to keep changing the color. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna show you guys is how to insert first pictures and videos. Your slide presentation will be very boring without pictures. So one thing that you can do is upload pictures to your computer. If you take a picture, say you take a picture on, on uh, your, like me, for example, that I have my iPhone. Let's say if I wanted to send any of these pictures, if I wanna send this picture of my geeky brother who takes pictures of trains, I can email it to myself. And then I, from my email, I can move it over to my drive or I can uh, move it over to my computer and save it onto my computer. Now, let's say if I wanna upload a picture, I'm gonna to go to computer. Let's say I want this picture of my nephew, Jackson. Um, there's two ways you can uh, control a picture. Always drag it from the corners um, because that won't distort the picture. It'll make it bigger or smaller. If you start moving it this way, um, it starts to distort the picture and becomes pixelated. If you do that by mistake, you have this undo button right here. Shortcut is always control Z and it'll move it back to, to normal. Okay, um, you also have a border width where you can put some uh, color to it. Um, you can make the, the border a little bit thicker. You can do stuff like that. Now, another thing that I was gonna show you is you also can cut a picture by clicking the crop button right here. Once you have the black shapes around it, let's say uh, I didn't want little Jackson's legs to come out, only this top part, I can use that. And so you can see the part that you are cutting out. Um, once you click off to the right, you're gonna see that the picture has been altered. So don't use um, any other um, of the blue features unless you're dragging it from the corners to make it bigger or smaller. Let's say you wanna insert a video, you're gonna to go to video, you're gonna to go to insert, image, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna to go to video and automatically it's gonna take you over to YouTube. Now you can, let's say type something in, let's say I wanna put my rage against the machine uh, favorite band uh, video, I would type that in here and a bunch of videos will pop up. Now, one of the cool things, um, actually, let me put video so the video can pop up. One of the cool things about using Google Slides is you can 
limit um, the amount of video footage that is actually coming up, meaning that you can choose, um, let's say if you want 30 seconds of it, a full minute of it, so uh, different stuff. Um, all right, here, let me, I can't find it. Let's say you can't find it, just keep putting more information in so you can um, find the video that, that you want. Um, sleep now. Okay, and the fire video. Let's see if this works. All right, for some reason, the actual video itself is not coming up, even though I've already saved it. Um, so let's say if that's happening, what you can do is you can just go directly over to your YouTube account. If you have a YouTube account, you can type it in. This is the video that I'm looking for. You highlight in the URL. All right, Rage, you're going to have to keep it down. In the URL, you can highlight it, copy it, and I'm going to show you how else you can insert it. Okay, you go over to your presentation, you um, go to buy URL, and you can select it. So, this is what I was telling you about. So over on the right, you have format options. Now, as of right now, the video is three minutes and 54 seconds long. Let's say you wanted to start at the very beginning and have it end at the three minute mark, then you just put it in there. So you can watch the video and depending on how much you want it to go, let's say, I don't wanna waste too much time and um, cause your presentation should be no longer than uh, three minutes. So eh, I'm only gonna want 30 seconds of it. You can also do that. So. Again, make sure that it is saved to your Google Drive. You can go do that by moving it, moving over to move. You find the PBL folder and you can drop it in there, senoritos. All right. Wow, there's just a loud noise outside. I wonder what happened. Maybe the wind knocked something over. All right, so senoritos, let's say you want to use Prezi. Prezi is another cool feature. I'm sorry, another cool tour that you can use for presentations. Of course, you're gonna go in as a student. When you go in as a student, it's gonna ask you to create an account. Do not create an account. Your school, Montague Charter Academy, has created an account for you already, um, a Google account. So you're just gonna sign in with your Google. It's gonna ask you which Google account you are going to wanna use. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, account. So then I'm just gonna go in, okay? So here is the cool thing. This actually is my dashboard. Let me actually go back to the Google Classroom. If you click on presentation templates, one of the cool things about here is that you can go through and you can just find any different Prezi presentation that you would like. Now, Prezi is a little bit different. I'm gonna go to my dashboard. This is one of the ones that I created and I can go through here. I don't wanna present it. I actually wanna edit it. So I'm gonna click below find where it says edit. And so very important, this one here, you cannot save to your Google Drive just yet. I'm gonna wait for it to upload. Somebody's making a whole lot of noise out there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the very top. You are going to title this, whatever it is that you want. Then you're gonna notice here is your first page. Here are all the topics that I'm gonna talk about, my family, my parents, career, likes and hobbies, and my Impala. So um, this one just looks a little bit different. Um, if you want to insert, say a picture here, um, I'm gonna go to insert, you're gonna go to image. And once again, you are going to go to, let's say if you wanna upload it from your computer, pictures that you already have on your computer, which is probably the best bet. You can go ahead and uh, do that. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. Once it pops up, again, here are the blue boxes, drag it from there, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, but this is it. And then you can just kind of move it around to wherever you want it. If you don't wanna cover the cute little pencil, if you're using this template, then you can just kind of make it a little bit smaller, okay? So that's uh, one way to, to, to go about it. Um, you guys can see here that I inserted the Rage Against the Machine video from uh, earlier. Um, once you present it, you'll be able to see it, okay? To go back, you just hit this arrow right here. So let's say I wanted to edit my likes and hobbies, okay? I'm gonna go into likes and hobbies here and just start putting stuff in. Um, 
change the title around. Um, let's say rage against, oops, against the machine. If you, let's say you don't want it to look like that, just start messing with the text box. You can make the text box a little bit bigger so it's all on one line. Also, uh, you can center it. Um, I prefer to have uh, it centered. There we go. Uh, let's say there's a certain color that you like. You can go over here and go ahead and uh, change up uh, the color. You can also custom make the color where you could click on custom and just find different colors. I want it a little more red, there we go. So that's the way you can do it. Um, again, you hit the arrow to go back on your overview. If let's say you wanna add uh, a video in here, you're gonna go to insert. You're gonna find where it says uh, video. It's gonna take you once again to YouTube. And you are just gonna have to go back to YouTube. Let's say I wanna find uh, 1967 Impala video. Oops. Hey, I'm not on YouTube. Hello, Mr. Contreras, hello. I clicked it in the wrong place. That's why you're gotta go to the search bar. So 1967 Impala, bam. So let's say I wanted to put this video in right here. Um, I Once again, I go to the URL bar, copy it, go to my Prezi. I input it right here and then hit insert. You'll see that the video will pop up here. And once again, you can go ahead and mess with it. Okay. So that is some of the basic stuff. You can mess with it to kind of make it your own. So now let's say you want to take a look at to see what it looks like. You can just hit present and this is what it'll look like. Uh, I really like Prezi for this uh, reason because you know it's just a little bit different. You know, you can kind of go in right here. Um, you know, the, it's just a different way to present. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, again, if you don't like Prezi or Google Slides, feel free to use any other platform. So that is how you get a Google Slide going or a Prezi presentation. Um, I hope that uh, this video was useful to you. Um, you can drop me a message uh, through my email. I can't guarantee that I'll get back to you right away over the break, but um, you know I'll get back to you at some point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope the video was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, good luck with your presentation.